What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is William and uh, as I said in the video that went up Monday where I give away this uh, template here, uh, I said I was going to make a patterns video for Wednesday so here is that video and if you guys want you can go ahead and click uh, the little annotation on the screen right now to go ahead and check out this video. It'll open up in a new window so you can do that but I'm going to show you guys how to make some cool patterns and this is something that I've been kind of working on uh, the uh, past couple of days. So let's go ahead and create a new window here. I usually, when I make patterns, I usually try about a thousand pixels by a thousand. Oh, that's a hundred. Uh, but the main reason for that is then I can scale them to however I want because you can adjust the percentage and they won't get really pixelated. And I try and do about 300 uh, PPA or uh, yeah, pixel print, whatever it is. You guys don't really care about that. Uh, but however, so we just go view new guide, then 50 uh, percent here. And then we go uh, vertical 50% as well. So uh, here we go. So we have our nice little square here. And um, usually, uh, a lot of the patterns that I've been working on recently uh, really are simple. I mean, it's diamonds, and I really just start with a square. And uh, you know, X's, and these are a lot of like really cool patterns that like really can impact uh, how your design looks. And uh, so these are some of the ones that I uh, recently made, and uh, really it's all about just, um, you know, creating cool effects in the background. Like on the uh, free, this I gave this template away on the uh, video that it's linked with, uh, what I'm working on. But as you see, I mean, there's just like these are squares, and uh, there was an intro uh, I made for uh, my old broadcast program. They asked me to do one for this semester, their sports, and uh, I used the. Uh, uh, like plus but the thin plus uh, I think it was uh, I can't remember which one I believe it was this one right here um, and uh, they really like that just the way that it looked those two are actually really cool and uh, I mean there's just so much that you can do as far as the design aspect for that so what you want to do is just grab your shape layer and grab like a black or a gray whichever you want to do and uh, go ahead and just create your uh, X right there your square and make sure every time you do this you hide the background when you save it and then really just go edit to find pattern and uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff so I mean going back to the square so you can start out with just a square uh, I made a large square and then I went down made like a medium and then made like a really small one and then for a diamond you just rotate this uh, 45 degrees and now you have a diamond and uh, you can shrink that shrink that and um, you know, a lot of uh, some things that I really saw that was cool, and actually, uh, I can't remember who made that. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure, but what they did um, was they went and they did the divide sign, which let's just go. I'm just gonna make a uh, makeshift one right now. We're at a thousand pixels. That needs to be about twenty. Duplicate that, and this will have to be a little bit smaller. Let's actually let's do this. this I think this will look pretty cool. Nine degrees. And we'll convert the shape. Delete that. Even that up. And uh, flip horizontal. Oh, not horizontal. Flip vertical. There we go. Um, all right. So I mean, we have a cool little like divide. It's this is like kind of like weird, funky looking. Um, but it, regardless, it kind of it gives the point uh, that I'm trying to make. So you kind of do this, and then instead of making it a pattern, if you actually define brush preset. What you can do then is uh, grab your brush tool, uh, go ahead and grab that brush preset that we just made, kind of bring it down a little bit, and uh, then go into, uh, which one is it? Uh, this one right here, which is your uh, kind of brush presets, I think. Is that exactly what it's called? Oh, it's just your brush. And um, now there's a lot of cool stuff you can do here. Let's turn the spacing up a little bit. Let's turn the uh, shape dynamic, size, jitter. Uh, angle, I'm gonna angle this, let's do 
Uh, round it. Uh, let's see. Let's leave roundness at uh, zero there. Uh, scattering. Um, scatter all the way up. And that's kind of. I don't want a lot, so it's kind of. Let's leave it at one. And uh, I think as far as that goes, that's all we really need to uh, add minimum diameter. Uh, all right. So as far as that goes, it's kind of all we really need to add. Um, that's behind the thumbnail. Yeah. Let's just drag it all over the top. It's also black, so it matches the background. Make it white. And uh, let's actually make this a little bit smaller here. And uh, there's just a lot of cool stuff that you can do with these kind of effects and kind of go fade it, uh, put that at overlay. And uh, I mean, there's just a lot of cool stuff that you can do with a lot of cool different effects um, that all just play a part in, you know, Photoshop. Like it's not specific to like patterns or brush presets. Uh, but there's just some cool little elements that you can add to kind of make things cooler. Uh, but I, this is more about patterns too. I mean, you can even make this a pattern. This wouldn't be a bad pattern. And actually, it'd be kind of cool if you did. Uh, let's go ahead and go File. Let's define pattern. And then what we'll do is we'll merge this. And then we will show the guides. Let's do this. Let's drag that down to about... So we want it to be evenly distributed. So what we want to do is go view again, new guide 25% like that, and then new guide 75%, and then flip it again and go new guide uh, 25%, and then new guide 75%. All right, and then we want this to be in the center of that. Kind of like that doesn't need to be small. Then duplicate. Let's go. 90 degrees. And then select both of these. Duplicate, select. Rotate 180. Alright, there we go. So now we have a uh, cool, like, it's, it's a unique kind of uh, pattern there that we got going on here. And then uh, edit, define pattern, boom. And so we can even throw that. Let's take the pattern that we have in here. And uh, really a lot of what patterns are is trial and error. Um, nothing is necessarily correct. Nothing is necessarily wrong. Um, it's just a lot of, you know, practicing and figuring out what you think looks good and uh, what you think doesn't. I mean that to be honest is a pretty cool looking pattern that just throws in the background. Um, another thing that I'm really obsessed with and uh, freaking any girl that kind of wears this kind of style is immediately 10 times more attractive than if she wasn't. And it's that whole Aztec kind of pattern style uh, that's going on and a lot of it's Mandela art. If you don't know what Mandela art I definitely recommend you googling it. Um, but Mandela art, kind of that whole Aztec kind of pattern stuff like that is very, very cool to me. I, I don't know why I like it, but every time I see it, especially in the bright like blues and oranges, by the way, those are my two favorite colors is blue and orange. Um, so blues and oranges with a little bit of white in there is just amazing. And uh, sometimes I see it in green that kind of looks uh, good as well. But a lot of like the whole Aztec pattern in kind of like a blue. Um, I've never actually experimented trying to make my own uh, Aztec pattern. Uh, but to give you guys kind of a uh, rough example, this will be a 45. Um, let's go ahead and pull up our guides again. Let's make this 200 versus 20. And let's kind of just go like that. We want it to reach the entire outside. There we go, like that. And then we want to duplicate that and go. We actually want to flip that. Uh, flip horizontally, but we want it to kind of stack up so it's behind it. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I've never actually attempted to kind of do this. Um, let's do a blue stroke here. Uh, and then we'll do that similar blue. So we'll duplicate. Oh, then duplicate. 
we will duplicate and align and then change this to the blue um, now this might not remember I'm doing this in 10 seconds so don't expect it to look perfect I know I get judged very harshly if stuff I do isn't perfect so bear with me here people please people please All right. um, And uh, what are we gonna put over here? Then we'll just do we'll do orange to kind of uh, fill this out. We'll do orange rectangle. We'll just kind of yeah. boom, and uh, we'll set that in that corner. And actually, I don't like the blue, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and change up the blue here. I don't think the blue kind of matches the uh, style here. Uh, that one's a little bit more fitting. Um, let's go with that one right there. And uh, we'll make this, well, just to kind of separate that kind of stroke there, we'll make it a off blue or even we could probably do a different color even. Like a gray like that and then throw the square at a stroke of that same gray um, that is there and then what we want to kind of do here is we want to align that so it kind of looks somewhat balanced and we'll duplicate and kind of bring that to the forefront here. Boom. Uh, yeah I mean it's not gonna look perfect uh, I don't expect it to actually you know what would make this look perfect I know uh, let's bring the uh, what is it again we did just a white square that covered it all. And now what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a border to it kind of like that. And then I could even go a step further as to add a stroke to that of that gray. Uh, but actually I think this needs to be the dark blue that we used. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change all the uh, strokes there. To that dark blue just like that. Uh, hmm I mean for for example purposes we'll leave it at that I don't think it's perfect uh, but I don't think it has to be for this kind of uh, demonstration so now we'll define this as a pattern here and then it wouldn't look good in that sense so let's create a new document 1280 by 720 and we'll go ahead and boom pattern select that let's set it to say 20 10 8 7 6 5 let's do five. let's do six all right and then we'll kind of drop the opacity a bit um and so i mean just as far as like the style goes i mean it's just it's there's no right or wrong answer uh, to this and actually what i probably would do here is uh all right remember what we did earlier uh with the four shapes so what we're gonna do how thick do you think that is all right so i'm hide you all right it's not 200 it might be 20. i mean for demonstration purposes yeah it'll work and then i want to make sure this is at least accurately positioned and then duplicate 90 degrees all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this group it select or oh, it's because it's out there a lot um for example purposes I'm just gonna rasterize it I know it's not the smartest way to go around it um, but I'll just convert that to a shape rasterize actually no smart shape will work actually all right so Nope, it needs to be rasterized, and then we're going to just select the entire document, make it every cut, and cut this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this down to uh, meet the borders that we have here. Boom. And then, uh, so these need to have strikes as well. So we need to merge, you, boom, boom. Um, not that big though. Uh, let's do. And I need to go below that. 
Mm, I don't really like how this is turning out right now. But, you know, for example's sake, uh, and then we can do exactly what we did with the other thing, though. We can uh, flip 90 degrees, and then I'll just have to reposition that. Boom. And then merge these two, duplicate, flip, flip vertical. That looks kind of cool. See that? that yeah. I mean, yeah, that looks pretty cool. And um, it looks, it's kind of like a tiled effect, actually. Um, it's something I would use. And actually, what we could do as well, this might, I don't know how good this will look. Uh, uh, but that's a lot what it is. It's a lot of trial and error, just seeing what flows, what doesn't. Look at there. Oh, it's kind of off. Of course it is. And new. There we go. And so that'll get that out. So I mean, there's a lot of cool different aspects that you can do to kind of make cool patterns. And then just go edit, you know, define pattern, and then just go play with it. You know, go kind of throw it on a new scale. Let's take this and let's instead of going that pattern, let's get this pattern. Um, and so let's make it. 100 and uh, it needs to be sized up a little bit. Let's go 50. No, uh, not quite 50. Let's go 10. Uh, but I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Not necessarily, you know, in background. But there's there's a lot of cool different styles that you guys can take patterns. Uh, patterns are not really limited, as a lot of people think that they are. And it's all about just playing around and figuring out cool different, you know, styles and techniques, and uh, making some cool looking stuff. And uh, yeah, so anyway, my name is William, guys. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Life of a Will. Also, make sure to follow the uh, GFX Twitter at GFX MC. And I hope you guys learned something about patterns today. Um, I know I'm not like an expert on patterns, uh, but I enjoy making them in my spare time, so kind of makes me an expert. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, you guys are awesome. Go mad as always, designers, and have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.